Hey everybody, we are about three quarters of the way through the reservoir trailhead hike here in Whitefish. We decided just to come out uh, driving around down to Whitefish, saw some signs that said trails and lakes and this and that, and figured <laughs> let's give take it a, a shot. Hike. Yeah, let's go take a hike. <laughs> so yes, we have been going up, up and it's all been uphill. And up. It says it's an easy hike. Um, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It just the it just has a lot of switchbacks going up. So the reward will be everybody that's coming down is saying how pretty it is at the overlook. Um, you can see behind us the lake. So a little bit. A little bit. I'm thinking it's going to be an amazing view. So the reward is always that way, yep. you know, working for that reward. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do. That's what we've done for every hike we've done. And yeah. it's been well worth it. So absolutely. Yeah. Plus, we just getting some exercise in, which we mm -hmm. need moving, get the blood flowing. Um, well, especially since the hike to Hidden Lake up in Glacier, we couldn't do because of the weather. Well, you couldn't see. What's the point? It was literally like in the clouds Zero. or fog yeah. whatever it was but it was like you could not see so and it was very very rainy and windy, cold yeah. and windy it was like so 41 was, degrees yeah. there was no reward so we no. all decided not to do that one yep. um but anyway excited to see what this looks like we'll show you when we get yep. there we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going yeah we made it to valley overlook mm -hmm. on the reservoir trail here in whitefish actually went a little past it we did <laughs> we were overachievers they're not when you get to, um, come to the top here, they don't have a sign. Because this jets off to turn, the side. Mm -hmm, to come up to the overlook, but. And we went probably, what, about a tenth to two tenths yeah, of a mile not back? Too bad. We got up like, to. There's a... no way we're going to see anything yeah. from here because we we're getting more in the trees. So. Yeah, we stopped and turned around and we're looking around and I'm like, oh, there's a bench. Mm -hmm. So we backtracked a little bit, but here we are. It we is it. beautiful up yeah. here. So it was a little over one and a half miles, mm -hmm. all uphill. So now we get the rewards of going downhill for <laughs> yes. the next mile and a half. Yeah, it's also a uh, bike trail. We passed yeah, uh, quite a few, quite a few mountain bikers, which is really cool. Yeah, I guess if you continue on the trail, it continues and goes for like twelve miles, you know, all the way to the other side of the lake and everything else. But yeah, we're, we're good. <laughs> we're good with the mile and a half up, and we'll do a mile and a half back, and then I think we're going to go into Whitefish and Look find a town. restaurant and have See some that. lunch. Maybe. We'll see. All we'll right. see what's down there. At least look at the town. Yeah. yeah. Bright and early on road tripping day. Um, when we pulled into the RV park in Columbia Falls last week, we noticed that the brakes were squeaking pretty good and they started smelling. And that's not good. So I called around, RV repairs couldn't help me. And this place was very well recommended. Diamond S Trailer Repair. I gave them a call on the phone and they said yeah sure no problem when you're leaving and i told them bring it right in if you're here first thing in the morning you know when we open we will get you all squared away and taken care of so because of the size of the rig as you can see we're kind of parked in a little gravel lot and it is probably a quarter after eight by now and they've already got the tires off and they're already checking the brakes um, he doesn't think it's going to be a very long process maybe an hour or so and he said, we'll get us out on the road when we need to. So we're going to let you know how it goes. But yeah, life on the road. <laughs> all right. So we got the RV all checked out and everything else. Diamond S Trailer Repair in Columbia Falls, Montana. The guys are amazing. Peyton is the one that took care of us. He checked all of the tires, all of the brakes, all of the bearings. He even gave the suspension and everything once over and there was nothing major wrong the only issue he found was on the brakes that were squeaking pretty bad that i that i thought had the major issue he said the auto adjust on the drum brake was off a little bit so he adjusted that it had come a little loose so he he tightened that up and fixed that and honestly he said sometimes these things just squeak but nothing wrong with the brakes nothing wrong with the suspension nothing wrong with the bearings so we're off for a, about a six hour drive today peace of mind that everything's all all good and everything's taken care of and there's nothing wrong with it if it makes a little noise it makes a little noise and we'll just have to deal with that again diamond s trailer repair great guys over there um not sponsored paid for it out of my pocket so everything is good but i really believed in them and they did a great job so if you're ever in the glacier area and you need some work done on your trailer give them a call diamond s trailer repair
spent the night in Washington last night. I did. It's green. Oh, shocker. Oregon's blue. Yeah. <laughs> that seems to be the, the theme. And now we're going to be in Oregon for a month. Mm -hmm. So even though we haven't slept yet, we're putting them on. Yeah, because... Because we're here. Yeah, and it looks... We, we are. are. We're going to be here for a month, so... Here we go. The beach is a half a mile from here. I guess there's a bridge, right? And the haystack's over there, and... I don't know. It's, I, this is a good one for me, because... This one I remember so clearly when we scheduled this because we scheduled all of our stuff in advance. Was we, A, we were so big and we didn't know what to expect, but B, we were so excited waiting for our rig. And I just remember being at home and on the weekend scheduling. And this one, I could not wait to do. So, and we just, we, we watched so many YouTube channels and I was like, I cannot wait to do Oregon. So, can't wait to go over there. Cannot wait to explore. We're here for a month and not in the same place, but in the state and it's going to be amazing. It already is amazing. The drive here was amazing. So I'm kidding. Guess where we are? It's really hard to tell with that background. <laughs> Cannon Beach with Haystack Rock behind us. Mm, oh my! So beautiful. It is. Think, what do you think? Your first impressions? I agree with you. It's a lot bigger. I, I can't of believe a, how big it is. Yeah. It's huge. Oh, absolutely. And beautiful. Like it's beautiful down here. So yep. what is it? It is September twenty seventh, sixth. Seven. It's September 27th. Yes. So we are not, we are not in, we're in the shoulder season. Yes. Uh, although it came highly recommended to come this time of year if we didn't want to be all touristy. So we are staying at a lovely RV park that is a half a mile from the beach. And so we decided this today's our first day to walk down yep. here and check it out. You actually see the haystack on the way in when yes. we are coming here. So we were super excited about it. It's a beautiful walk um, and it's just stunning. It's a, it's, I mean, obviously there's a reason this is popular and everybody comes here. Oh, ab so. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, it's probably in the mid fifties right now. As you can see, we're all wearing jackets. But and I did get my feet wet. Yep. So I don't have shoes on because I can't stand walking on the beach with shoes on unless we're exercising. So, yeah. Um, but yes, it is beautiful. We will be down here several times, if not every day, because it is I can just... see, I can see this being an every morning walk mm -hmm. for us. It's like Larika said, we're only half a mile away. So we'll walk over and enjoy the walk. Maybe head over. We're going to head over to the little shops later and see what's there. But Cannon Beach, my goodness. Yeah, it's a must do for sure. We've been planning this for a year when we decided that this was going to be on our list of places to go visit as soon as we went full time. And my goodness, it does not disappoint. No, it's beautiful and so worth it. Absolutely. And apparently we were talking to some people, which we've known from just watching other channels, but there's a lot to do here and we yes. can't wait to explore several different beaches and yeah. hikes and tide pools and all sorts of things that we want to do. So yeah. it's a good thing we're going to be in Oregon for a month. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're here at Cannon Beach for two weeks. And then you guys are going to see that we're just going a couple hundred miles south to another beach to another little beach town yeah, in yeah. Oregon so. so yeah month on the Oregon coast yeah you know and of September not, to October <laughs> this was not a mistake no it was no, not no so all right we're gonna go keep enjoying it and we'll show you what we see
this. Do you want them to look like this? And we are an RV Snap Pad affiliate, so use our discount code down below for 10% off your order. We are in Seaside. Walking up and down the main drag, I guess it's the Lewis and Clark Trail. We checked out the end of the trail, where the statue is. And there's a lot of cool little shops mm -hmm. and it's restaurants. Like kind of a restored, like kept it. Yes. The old feel that it is, and uh, it's super cute. Yes. It's like part of the things are like, reminds me of when we were little. Mm -hmm. Little carnival stuff, it almost feels carnival down right. there. But kind of like a boardwalk, I guess it would be, yeah. too, as you get closer to the beach down there. Um, super cute, though. Little no. kitschy shops and <laughs> fun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's early. It's like 11 o'clock mm -hmm. on a Friday morning, so a lot of places aren't open yet. Uh, we've already decided we're probably going to come back maybe one day next week, later in the day, when things are open and the restaurants and, Lots you know. Lots of seafood and Try and some food. Things, but, yeah, very, yeah. very cute down here. A little early for us for lunch, so we didn't eat anything. Yeah, we've already <laughs> seen a couple Christmas shops. Christmas in September. It's Christmas in July. <laughs> I know. This is like a new thing. I know. Christmas always comes out early. Yeah. Because people gives people time to look. So I love looking at Christmas stuff. Yeah. Don't Could... have a ton of use for it now, but yeah. even if you're just Christmas shopping, finding little things, so. Yeah, the last one we went to, there were signs all over, no pictures or anything like that, so we couldn't show you, but trust us, it looked like looked like Christmas threw up in there. <laughs> all right, we're going to keep on enjoying, and then I think later we're going to head over to Astoria as well. That should be fun. We're going to go find the Goonies house. Let's see. All right, I am standing in front of the elementary school from the movie Kindergarten Cop. It is John Astor Elementary School now. But yeah, remember this school well. It still looks exactly the same as it did in the movie. Pretty cool. <laughs> 